It's fucking awesome. Look at this dude fucking holding it down. Smoky Bacon. It's a fucking legend. Right, so let's see. Um, there's one, two, three, four people disloyal. Uh, we are at risk of a civil war in 17 months. School is paying off as well. That's what's up, dude. Yeah, having, um, having that as an option is fucking glorious, dude. I'm happy for you, my guy. Um, move out of the territory there. Yeah, no, let's bring them in. Fuck yeah. Alright, so Rome is probably going to win their war. Which is highly unfortunate. Well, they have negative 19 war score. I actually have Smokey. Um, unfortunately, I had to restart this Carthage campaign. But other than that, yeah, we've been fucking thugging it out, my dude. Um, I may have to restart my Texas campaign. My Texas run. But hopefully, hopefully we don't have to worry about any of that. Um, there was a recent update to that mod. So we'll, uh, we'll see if I can continue that campaign. If not, looks like I'm going to be restarting two campaigns this week. Can I sack raise their cities? Possibly. But I don't necessarily want to do that. Because I want to keep them for myself. I plan on... Trying to take land from Rome, actually. I have 35 war scores, so let's see. Can I actually screw Rome over? I have to wait 36 months. Yeah, I have to wait 36 months after the war has started. So that means I can't separate peace out from the war until January of 65, which it's 63 right now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait on that issue. Carthage, what are you no longer importing? Let's see. Let's try that for a second. No. Turn that back on. No. Fuck that. No, because they're just going to start fucking spamming me for that, that extra, uh, extra good. Not doing it. All right, let's see if we can get down here onto Carthage pro uh, to Rome proper. That's another one in the books. Hell to the Yao. You. Time to integrate you as well. All right. Time for some smoke. That's what's up. Carly! Can you still tag KDT? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm in KDT. Most definitely. How have you been, Carly? I hope you're having a glorious day so far. God damn, look at all those... Okay, all those people aren't really that bad. I can reward some veterans. Mm, all these guys are just super loyal. Or super disloyal. Refused proposal. Chided bickering. Alright, so they're just pissed off about a bunch of things. It looks like I'm going to possibly be going into Civil War. Just about to spit out your beer. Do I need the extra wood though? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. So the, the way it works is um, you want the, the excess goods in your provincial capital because they give you additional bonuses for having that good in your provincial capital. Uh, that's how you found me. So much rain lately, but good. All right, I've been doing pretty good, hanging out. Got any funny sound meme ideas, Grover? Let's see. Um, I have recently been um, enjoying the uh, the deep fakes of the presidents playing like paradox games. Those are always fucking glorious to have. But you don't have spearmen. Uh, all right, so for wood, let me see. So wood does give the spearmen offense. That is correct. Technically, I do not have spearmen, so you're right. But the thing is, I'm producing it. I'd rather keep it because I do plan on using spearmen in the future once I start using legions. 
So just to uh, preemptively have it, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I could be, I'm missing out on that potential income coming from those goods, but it's fine. It's it's not that big of an issue for me. All right, so let's see. Grant stipends. I need to figure out a way to get loyalty with these fucks because I'm tired of them having these issues. I can reward their veterans to reduce his base, his base power. His base power is really what's going to really cause them to do that. Let's see. Damn, we really just can't finish up long and uh, fast enough. All right, wait a minute. I need more than 60%. So if I could... Provincial fortifications. Let's see. I'm going to spend a little bit of my money. Come over here. Ah, I don't... It's not money that I need to spend. It's political influence that I need. That's fine. We're 10 months out from civil war. It's quite unfortunate, but, it's, but it is what it is. Granting holdings gets gets me loyalty with these people, but it costs money, which sucks so much. Can reward his veterans. And then it's just pointless to try and take some of these guys to, to, to trial. Give you free hands, I guess. Great to stipend. But yeah, that'll give me uh, disapproval with the Democrats. Alright, so there's only three people pissed off now. Alright. Oh! Ford the Ugly coming in with the fucking G-Raid. Let's go. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm your boy, Grover4289. We play Grand Strategy titles here. Today, we're playing as Carthage in Imperator Rome. It is a uh, nation uh, simulator grand strategy style game where it takes place during the time of ancient Rome, roughly 30 years after the death of Alexander the Great. So if any of you guys are familiar with your history and anything of the sort, then that is definitely something uh, you might want to look into. This game's actually really fun. I'm doing really good for it. I'm doing really good. Uh, I'm playing here as Carthage. And uh, we're about eight months out from a potential uh, civil war. And I'm sieging Rome right now. Yeah, I've got men on Rome. I've got 28 percenter. 28 percenter. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. 35 percenter. Ah. We need to get out of this war so I can be ready for my... Yes. Ugh, let's fucking go. All right. Let the looting be gentle. Um, let's see. We can fucking destroy Rome, actually. I don't want to, honestly, I want to sack Rome, but at the same time, if I sack it too hard, I'm viable to kill all the pops there, and then the city just disappears. So I don't want to be too harsh. Um, Roman Freeman is killed. None shall hide. Let the men freely roam. I'm feeling like that one's a good one. It would be nice if I would get more popularity per level like the higher i let them just fucking sack the place the more popularity i should get i get a lot more money for going up to the higher ones so i think yeah none shall hide you're gonna kiss my ass because uh like i said you suck and you're gonna die uh it's better than being cute and desperate you're damn right Look, Ford, I kept your ugly and proud check in, I believe. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Oligarchic concessions. Uh, I don't really want to do that. That law kind of sucks, dude. All right. All right. So I did keep it. Okay, cool. I, I didn't remember because I'm not looking at it right away um so let's see what law did they want me to in, uh, implement oligarchic concessions fuck where is it 
This is a law, right? Gains oligarchic concessions for... No, it's not a law. Alright, so it's only for 15 months. Or 15 years. That's fine. We can take that. Let's come up here, beat the shit out of the Romans for a minute. Alright, cool. Start sieging some of this stuff back for my homie. Alright, cool. We can start bribing these fucks and see if we can get them to not be disloyal. If we could get them to not be disloyal, then uh, we could save ourselves a giant hassle. There we go. No more civil war coming. Sweet. Um, and press the green one. Nice. Alright. Um, love how the inter uh, internal politics... Yeah, the internal politics of this... So, the, the way I like to explain Imperator Rome is it's a combination of Europa Universalis 4, which is quite literally just a blobbing game. You pick a nation and you blob. You try to get as big as fucking possible. And then Crusader Kings, where it's you're dealing with nothing but shitty characters and motherfuckers who want to date their cousins and murder people for fun and do incestuous shit and commit war crimes. This is the combination of the two and you get imperator rome with a bunch of fucks who are greedy and always want to be like disloyal and corrupt and a bunch of nonsense it's it's quite hilarious from time to time to watch oh it's saying i'm gonna lose that that fight you know what i think now is a good time to try and peace out possibly maybe hey rome Damn, they won't accept it. That's unfortunate. Client state, maybe, possibly? Damn, they won't accept anything. Am I talking Texas? No, I'm playing... Um... Wait, what are you talking about? Also has demographics, pops, and cultures. Yeah, that's most definitely a thing. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I need my vassals to get over here and help me so I don't get ambushed by a fucking 20 stack, which looks like it's close to happening. Let's get some stability, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We're, uh, we're fighting in Italy. We're trying to destroy Rome right now, Ford. Uh, they know they'll kick your ass once they come back to Rome. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate. Uh, we need a 60%, this one. This is the one we need. So we just need to keep making uh, people's happy here. Uh, the investment here is the one I need, but I don't have the political influence. Yeah, so we're going to be stuck on that uh, route. We are losing tyranny pretty quickly, though, which is a good thing. Hey, remember when I told you um, I want you guys to stack on me? Why the fuck are you guys not stacking on me? Let's see. We're using the best, uh, what's it called? How am I going to lose that fight? Has higher morale. The terrain is to their benefit. But I control the terrain. That makes no sense to me. We have more troops than them, too. Okay, they turned around and took off. Um... There's a small Gaelic village which is surrounded by Romans, but it can't be conquered because its villagers have a special brew. <laughs> hey, alcohol, yes. All right, so technically we're winning this war, even though our uh, ally is fully occupied. They have negative war scores, so our war score against Rome is positive. Theirs is negative, so I think Rome actually might win this war. All right, look, come stack on me, please. I want you guys to come stack on me. Um, I have money. Yeah, I have 458 gold. I'm trying not to spend it, though, because I'm expecting these fucks to be difficult. Yeah. All right, that's another person integrated. Fuck yeah. LOL is about to be integrated. Or, I'm about to start the integration for them. Tapsus is about to be uh, integrated as well. 
Um, you're not the fucking ruler, you piece of shit. Someone was trying to challenge me on pretty much everything. So no, you go to hell. You go to hell and you die. Okay. We're kind of uh, out in the open here. Let's see if I can help out my homie. Uh, Alright, so we will win that fight. Cool. Rome gets so many bonuses, man. Look, they've already taken back Rome proper, which is quite unfortunate. Let's see. I need to go up there and seize that back, but I think it's a lost cause. Rome is just too strong right now. So, I could try and hold out, but it might be a lost cause. Rome is very strong early game. They blow up very fast, too. Yeah, see, look. They've... Their war's over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Um, Etrusia, uh, Etrusia, let it be known... Or Etruria, let it be known that I did my due diligence and tried to help you. But it doesn't help that you're fucking dog water, dude. Does it, it doesn't help that you suck. Starting experience, army morale, and planes combat bonus. That's right. That's one... Uh, that one's huge. That one helps out huge. Um, that's why you should have destroyed Rome. See, the sacking of Rome would have done nothing to stop that. It, it honestly wouldn't have stopped it. Might not have had the opportunity. Yeah, it's fine. It's quite alright. They're still alive in some aspect, but normally whenever they fight Rome, they get full annexed one fight. So, they actually just, instead of dealing with me sieging down their shit, they just said, screw it, and, and checked out. So, I sort of helped fuck over Rome. But it's quite alright. Sweet. Alright, so let's continue on with this. We just need this to continue going up, and up, and up. Let's see. Welcome them in. Sweet. Another person has been... Fully annexed. Perfect. Now we're just waiting on Tripolitania, Emporia, and Lowell. That's the only peeps we're, uh, we're waiting on. So let's see. I could actually make the Democrats a lot happier by doing this. Alright, that got me something. We're still hurting for political influence, but that's perfectly fine. We will deal with that as it comes. Hmm. Let's see, you. Uh, you're at war with Epirus, unfortunately. Sucks for you, guy. So yeah, Rome is expanding really quickly. The updates must have boosted them a little bit, because I don't... It's only been... It's only been like 20 years. I've never seen them expand this fast, especially annexing their peeps. They normally try to hold on to their peeps as long as possible. Let's see, you want a job... Alright, so let's see, what are you good at? Mahabral? Yeah, you are you were my first ruler, that's right. Let's come over here and find you a job. So you'll give me large amounts of money. Because that's what happens. You give them a job, they get happy, they give you large amounts of cash. You. You're not bad. So yeah, let's do that. He won't be disloyal anymore. You... It's gonna suck when they try to revolt, but it's fine. Alright, cool. Marshall advances. I got three more tokens. Sweet. Mm, heavy infantry discipline, national tax, national tax slave output. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna take all of these. We'll take the infantry discipline, the heavy imp uh, discipline. Because, uh, like in Crusader Kings, uh, discipline is like effectiveness. You want it to be as high as physically possible. All right, so that's actually going up. That's perfect. That is absolutely wonderful. It's what we want to see. New ruler, perfect. It is, you know, honestly, people ask me that all the time. And it's, it is and then it isn't. Because with this game, you have to deal with a whole lot more than just taking over territories. You got to deal with 
characters, keep keeping them loyal, dealing with them when they're disloyal. You got to deal with building stuff in your provinces so that they could grow and develop into uh, prospering uh, cities and stuff like that. Uh, you have to deal with diplomacy with other nations, allies, defensive packs, defensive leagues. Uh, you have to deal with certain government types, making sure that uh, the government type you're using is proper. Like, we're a republic right now, so we got to deal with dealing with senators and disloyal senators and people that want you to do stuff and blah, 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 stuff like that. You know, democracy. Eh. Uh, and then you got monarchies, which you don't really have to worry about dealing with with uh, a council at that point because you just got to make sure that people like you. And for some reason, my approval went down. My support in the Senate went down. I guess that's fine for now. Yeah, we want that, that iron back. So yeah, it's a very in-depth game and can't be compared to Risk, but it's honestly nothing like Risk. It is really a game of its own. Alright, so you're good. Do that. You will do Harsh Treatment. It's not going to help for now, but it'll do something in the future. You, look, dude, you keep becoming disloyal. I'm about to fucking try to murder you. Bring him to trials. I mean, it's not going to help. It's going to uh, cost me tyranny. I really should have been paying attention to my tyranny. It's 2 a.m. A hey, Ford, I got you, my guy. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you again for the raid. You're absolutely fucking awesome, dude. You gain more stability. Cool. Higher our stability the uh, less chance of civil war no no it's not the thing would it be nice if high stability helped chew down tyranny because there's really other than uh getting stuff through innovations that help lower your tyranny there's really nothing else you could do for it honestly it kind of sucks so let's see we need tax offices too All right, and then let's see. Foundries, yes. We'll start building those very soon. There's got to be ways for me to get rid of tyranny with buildings. Let's see, library, granary, fortress, no. Provincial farming settlements? No. Uh, slave estates? Nope. Alright, that's fine. We'll just uh, build some more tax offices then, I guess. Yeah, because we could use the money. We're going to need it eventually. Alright, so we're just 20 months out from that. That's fine. Uh, Messalia stops being a tributary. Okay, I didn't know you were a tributary to begin with. To be an ally, though. Uh, I could declare war, but we have good relations with them. So, let's, um, insult them? Yeah, insult them. That pisses them off. And then I can just turn around and go to war with them. Hail to the yeah. And take all that land. I'm gonna need that land anyways. Yeah, high tyranny is really fucking me over right now. Alright. Ooh, they would jump in as well. Fucking A. Alright. Alright, I don't know what caused that shout out to happen, but it's super fucking late. Um, uh, it was fun to watch you dealing with the Civil War countdown, right? Late to the shout out. I'm sorry I was having dinner. No, Katie, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Take your time, dude. Take your time. I'm in no rush. We're just going to casually declare war on Massilia uh, here because they're a fucking dickhead and they don't understand that they're better off as my tributary rather than trying to be independent. I've been nothing but nice to them. I've been a very good overlord. But no, they want to be independent, apparently. Alright, so. Pop this up. Fleet maintenance could stay where it is. Made homemade cheeseburger... Cheeseburgers and mac and cheese tonight. Fucking A. You're making me hungry. I'm, I think I'm going to go get a cheeseburger after this. I'm most definitely going to.
Alright, so let's do that. Stability has decreased from that. It would be nice if with higher I wages. It, I got family. If you did higher wages for characters, it would be nice if it also came with a loyalty bump. Because you're giving them extra money for doing their job. They should pay you more, right? I mean, it, it's only logical. It makes perfect sense to me. But hey, what do I know? I'm just some fucking noob that plays Imperator Rome all the goddamn time. Alright, so um, we're going to leave it at that. We got plenty of cash. Ah, I was a little too hasty. Alright, so we got to wait until the 15th of November before I could uh, raise my troops. Which sucks, but it's fine. Let's see. We'll go for the National Tax and Commerce. That's fine. Uh, again, we'll go with the Tyranny Decay. Because we really need to get that tyranny down. I'm so dumb for not paying attention to that. But it's alright. It's it's perfectly fine, chat. We will be A-okay. Alright? I promise you. We have nothing to worry about but fear itself. Well, hold on. We have nothing to fear except fear itself. And right now, the only thing we have to fear is this fucking Civil War countdown. This one I don't care about. The Rebellion, I don't care Completo, uh, love you, Grover, but have to go to bed, 2 a.m. Hey, I got you, Completo. Thank you for coming, my guy. You've been an absolute Chad. And uh, thank you for hanging out, dude. I hope you get as much rest as you need. 11,000. Nah, that ain't going to fly, son. All right. I can always hire these fucks, but it's okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to hire them for now. It's going to cost a lot of fucking gold to maintain them. But, um, we'll be fine. It's going to cost me six gold a month to maintain them. Mm, let's come over here and see if we can get started on a siege at least. Because, yeah, my vassals are going to fuck them over down here. For the most part. At least until... They get annexed, which is a very high possibility in this uh, instance. Alright. Might be annoying to you, but it sure is fun to watch you struggling. Well, I'm not struggling. I was just not smart and uh, let my tyranny get a little too high. Normally, I try not to go above 20 or 30. But it, it, it's a thing. It's unfortunate it's a thing. I've dealt with worse. So, it'll be fine. Get another sippy poo of my A and W. These fucks just revolted. That's their problem. Honestly. Let's see if I can raise troops up here. I can. It's only 2k, but it's better than some uh, better than nothing. Yep. Um no. Suck my ass. Suck my ass and go to hell. Yeah, see, look, Rome is expanding fast towards the south, too, because they know I'm going to be wanting that territory as well. So that's an uh, unfortunate thing we're going to have to deal with. All right. Let's raise these fucks. It's going to be very expensive. Let's get over onto their capital. That's what we want to deal with right now. These guys are um, going to have to be disbanded as soon as possible. That way I don't drive myself even further into debt. Um, let's get over here. We might as well use you while we can. We call allies to war. Yeah, Etruria, come help me. And Sparta. No, you're you're already in a war of your own. You could uh, hang out over there. It's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. Nice. Nice. Right. Wow. All right. Mm, another person gets integrated, but the only thing I have to worry about is every time I integrate someone, every time I integrate someone, that's one less vassal I have running around to fight wars for me. So as you can tell, I've got significantly less vassals running around all of a sudden. All right. Let's see. What did I go for first last time? Levantine Maritime. 
discipline, Punic traditions. Okay, that's that's pretty good for the time being. Ship building costs, Numidian uh, traditions, planes combat, army attrition, desert combat modifier. That's actually really huge because we actually live in a desert right now. So it's going to be massive for us. Massive, massive for us. Mm. Neglect infrastructure. That's fine. We could we could do that for a little bit. It's only a, a partial modifier. Only lasts for a little bit, so it should be fine. Let's come up here. Apparently we need to trade for something. Let's do... Uh, where are the base metals? Base metals. Ah, see, this is some bullshit that I don't like. For some reason, we traded away uh, base metals. We don't want to trade away base metals. We want to keep base metals. Because we get that juicy bonus to our light infantry. Alright. Let's see. Precious metals. We already got that. Base metals already got it. We're good. Leather. We could use leather eventually. Wine. Salt. They do basically the same thing. Cloth. Dyes. Ooh. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some dyes. That way we could get that... Uh, Noble Happiness modifier. Wait a minute. I'm already producing dyes. No. Save my money. Hold on. Wait a minute. You. I know you're giving me money for it, but no. No, 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 no. If I'm producing it, I'm keeping it. Um. Good God. There's a lot of shit going on here. Dude, if I'm producing this stuff, there's no reason to trade for it. Like, these things I understand, because I need to trade for them. But yeah, for you, stone. I'm going to save my money. And get something better. Stone. Stone, stone, stone. There. And there. There. So yeah, see look, now I have stone. Alright. So now we just gotta wait until one gets traded away. Alright, so now we got room for a lot more. Look at that, now we got four available import routes, which is awesome. I can go for marble, which is great for tyranny decay. Bam. So now I just need two more. Probably should go for the cloth for the oratory tech investment. The faster I can gain techs, the better. Experience decay is good. Archer discipline, we don't have any. Already got the stone. Fish, livestock. Pop promotion speed is honestly fucking massive. But um, we're not worried about that right now. I need something a little more beneficial. But honestly, it's looking like that's our only option. I can go for horses. For heavy cav discipline. But we don't have heavy cav discipline. Yeah, see, that is one thing, though. The tyranny, the things that give you tyranny decay don't give you hardly any tyranny decay. Mainly because I think it's like a balancing issue. But it would be nice if there were more things that gave you tyranny decay. That would be really nice. But unfortunately, it's not in the game yet. So maybe I could get a hold of whoever the devs are and give them my patch notes and be like, look, dude, this shit needs to be changed. We need stuff that gives more tyranny decay because having little to no options for tyranny decay really makes it fucking difficult when you're trying not to be tyrannical. You know what I mean? Okay, let's fucking go, dude. Welcome to the stream, my guy. I think I am going to go ahead and do the oratory tech investment. Because that's going to help us gain tech faster. Thus helping us win, uh, win wars easier and advance our, the nation, the, the state of our nation. Alright, so you're not a mercenary group, are you? I don't think so. We got to sit here and wait for a little bit. 
All right, so we'll be done with that soon enough. We get just got to sit and wait on it. All right, apparently there's a lack of food in Magna Gratia. Yeah, my troops over there are uh, starving, apparently. That's their fucking problem, if you ask me. All right, so you... Honestly? Uh, so I gotta wait for 69... <laughs> nice. Before I could forcibly kick them out of this war. So, um... Yeah, no, he could afford to pay for the costs. Actually, no. Let's come over here and fight these fucks. Get them off of my uh, person's capital. Yeah, see, look. They won that siege. They won it real quick. It was like a 28 percenter, and they won it, obviously. The AI will always have a better advantage when sieging against the player. It's, for some reason, it's just that way. It's just how it works. All right, I want you guys to go siege stuff back. All right. Yeah, go siege that stuff back, please. The sack of that place is done. Sweetness. Let's go get our stuff back before uh, our stuff gets fucking destroyed. I just realized we have a fuck ton of forts over here, and it sucks. Because I'm having to pay for those forts. You, why are you still disloyal? Stop being disloyal, thank you. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, so now you're stuck over there. Get fucked. Alright, another person gets annexed. Yes! Who got annexed? It was Tripolitania. Alright, so that's one less person uh, that's coming to my rescue in this war. We will put you there. Bribe you. Be gone with you, good sir. And then you, I guess. Spending all of my political influence on shit that's not even fucking necessary. Um, do that for now. You gotta demote some pops, my guys. Alright, so let's walk in here and destroy these fucks, yeah? No stack and wipage, but it's quite alright. Let's see. We got to figure out which of these forts we're going to keep. I mean, they're all pretty good. Alright, I guess I should keep one of those level 2s. Get rid of you and you. Yeah, we'll keep that one as well. I'd rather you be over here. But it's fine. We'll have to deal with... Figuring out our uh, fort lines in the future. Alright. We got 10,000 troops on our capital. I don't fucking appreciate that. In fact, I'm sending these fucks over here. And then these guys can come down here and deal with the uh, stray fucks that are just walking around. They're on negative 21, negative 7%. So I have no doubt that we can get over there in time. Alright, that's a thing. Alright. And just like that, we got another person that's been annexed. Sweet. Let's fucking go, Mustakas. We got this, dude. They, they don't know what's coming for them. 14 percenter. A fucking course. They're probably going to win it. Watch. It's going to be bullshit if they do. I fucking called it. Did I did I not call it? I told you guys. They will always have an advantage over the player. Always. It never fails. They're just a bunch of dickheads who get like crazy modifiers against the against the player. It's it always happens. <laughs> it's it's just a thing. It's how it works. It's it, all paradox games are like that. You will have that with every paradox title. There is no getting away from it. It's just going to happen. Motherfuckers think they got a chance. Uh, sure. You need a fort? Give me a fort. There you go. Get the fuck out of here. 
motherfuckers think you got a chance. Nah, son. All right, so we got to get over here and uh, siege that down so we could get these motherfuckers out of there. Because they're causing problems. They're, they're providing more men than I absolutely need. And look at this. Rome declared on the peeps that, that revolted against me and took the land for themselves. Motherfuckers. All right, so yeah, uh, Rome is uh, definitely going to get fucking destroyed. A 14 percenter. Yeah, exactly. Go fucking figure. And then I will be stuck on fucking 38 percenters for like four years. It's just how it works. Yeah, pretty much. I'll be on a 43 percenter for like four years. Never fucking fails. But hey, it's the name of the game sometimes. It just be like that. You know what I mean? It just be like that. Now, it's the same way with EU4. The AI will always win those level, uh, those 14 percenters. They will always win it. They're always faster than the, than the player. They're always stronger than the player. And they always get better RNG events when, when, uh performing sieges yeah i could assault it but that costs manpower that i don't have i have seven thousand eight thousand manpower right now but i'd rather just save it just save it and deal with it you know yeah as soon as you said it i want it yeah uh perhaps post an extra guard tonight sure we'll spend the extra money to do that um I could use... Uh, sure, we'll do that. It gets us some, um, some, what's it called? Some support in the Senate, which is good. Eventually, I am going to want to extend out the terms. Because every time we get a new leader, this shit fucking resets and goes down. It is frustrating. Alright, so we'll do this one. Hold on. Have at least one great temple. Yeah, we don't have that. Have less than 41 tyranny. Bruh, that's going to be difficult, sir. But we'll try. Grant five holdings to heads of family. I could do that with myself, but I don't want to spend the gold right now. I want to do this, though. Placate these guys. Or defend religious privileges. Yeah, we'll do that. Get us some support. Because really, remember, we're trying to get this one. We're trying to do that. All we really need is 60. And we've been so close this entire time. It just doesn't help when they're far enough away. You know? Alright, so we won that one here. Perfect. Let's come over here. And then once we siege that back, we'll come over here and siege this. Son of a bitch. There's always that one little lone... Motherfucker walking around trying to screw shit up for you. Barbarians. Yeah, I fucking hate barbarians. Barbarians are the scourge of my existence when it comes to playing Imperator Rome. Okay, we can catch these guys out here. At least some of them. Stack and wipe that little piece of shit stack. We need to come start sieging a lot more of this down. In fact, I should probably split these dudes up. So that I could have one army go that way. And another army come this way. In fact, go that way first. Yeah. Okay. Seize that down. Barbarians are doing barbarian things. Fucking barbarians. Okay. Once I siege these guys down and annex them and get them out of there. All these sieges will come back to me. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we're looking good, chat. We're looking real good. I wish these guys, even though they're my tribal vassal, I wish they would come into wars and help. That'd be great. Fighting a battle up here, it's extremely close for some reason. We won it, though. You. Some bitch. I want everything you got. Go away. Put them to the sword. Let's fucking go. Alright. 
Sweet. So that's one uh, major uh, competitor out of there. War score is way in my favor still. Let's get these guys over here. They're all but done. We just got to see just one last little province down. And then we'll be able to end this war and be done with it. Yeah. Yeah, see, look. New election coming. All right. We got to get up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got to get up here, then we should be good. Uh, sell the item displayed in the... Hmm. No, we'll take the gold. We could really use the gold right now. All right. Yeah, no, this war is going to be done very soon. Let's see, who got reelected? Ah, he got reelected. He's old, though. Damn. All right. Uh, we'll put you there. And you there. Sure. People are disloyal again. But that's a quick fix. Just bribe them real quick, like. There we go. And there we go. We have just expanded quite heavily. Bam. Put him to the sword. Kill that aggressive expansion. Which is going to fucking suck. But because we have uh, such high tyranny, that's going to cut down real fast. Real fast. Alright. Come over here. Disband. Where's this fuck? You. Disband you. We don't need you anymore. Span levies, dude. What the fuck? Alright, so now we gotta look at our fort line. We gotta make sure we're not spending money on stuff that we don't absolute, absolutely need. Alright. Alright, so that fort is actually in a very prime location. I would prefer it here, though. Or even here in the hills. But in the forest is fine. Yeah, forests are actually really good. But that's my vassal, so I don't know why I'm looking at them. We need to really consider... Like, you. You really don't need a... You don't need that fort. You don't need that fort. Just trying to find ways to save money right now. And right now, we're finding some good ways. Alright, so those forts are good. We're going to leave them as is, because their zone of control is good you honestly this is all fucking desert i don't really care if there's forts down here or not just keep them in the cities really like you we don't need you there keep your forts in your cities because then you could build bigger forts on those provinces that's what you want to do dude it's such a fucking beautiful map right aboba fucking glorious dude i don't even think i need this fort down here this fort's like in a really bad location because there's nothing to the south of it So yeah, let's get rid of that and actually put it somewhere up here where it's more, like, useful. I guess it was in a good spot protecting that, but it's fine. We want it to uh, spread a little further out. So we'll build it over here in the forest region there. And you guys are dealing with some nonsense as well. Alright, so let's come over here and see what we need to do to make people happy. Uh, spread Tanity Worship. What is it talking about? This one. Pop Conversion Speed. I mean, we could definitely do it. I just don't have the political influence to do it. The best map of all PDX games? It's definitely the most beautiful. That's for sure. This map, the graphics and everything is fucking gorgeous. The music is spot on with the time period. It's glorious. Now, as far as best Paradox game, it's one of their best titles, if you ask me. But then again, I'm personally biased because I'm a sucker for this time period. I'm such a sucker. So when I saw this game drop and I saw what time period it was, I was like, dude, yes. 
and I've jumped into it full bore, absolutely loved it. Everyone else hated it, but hey, they're fucking they're they're snobs. They what the fuck do they know? I'm so sorry, all my homies who hate this game for being snobby. <laughs> I'm such a dick. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are entitled to your own opinions. I may not agree with them, but I respect your opinions. I understand why people hate this game. It is not my problem to um, assist them in hating this game because I love it. All right, I feel like I want to put a fort here. This is like a really good spot. It covers the the both of these passes. It doesn't cover this pass. I could put it here. No, that won't work. It's also in the hills, so that actually would be great. Shores. Shores? I thought it said Sorzy for, uh, for a second. Shorzy? Alright. Hey, Alba87. Welcome to the Grove, my guy. How you doing, dude? Thank you for joining. Um, I guess I could put a fort here to further protect my lands. Yeah, because they got onto my capital very easily, honestly. We'll keep going for the uh, monthly tyranny decay here as well. 0 0.02 is... Not great, but it's not bad either. Ooh, ooh, we're so close. We're so fucking close. So fucking close. We're almost there. Yes, if we can click that button, we'll be done. And I can finally finish this fucking mission. For the love of God. Um, let's actually come up here and turn these shits down so I can start keeping more of my money. Look at that. We're making almost 18 gold a month now. You. We'll continue doing that, sure. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Grant Holdings, I guess. Go ahead. I did not want to give him free hands, but okay. Why can't I grant... Holding. Apparently, this is the only one I could grant holdings to. I know, dude. Like, the fuck? It, it fluctuates quite a bit. Yeah, I, I know. It, it's fucking annoying. Because it's, it's a mixture of all of them. So, it's like a balancing act. I have to have all of them like me. Or just have everyone in one. If I could get everyone over to the Democrats, that'd be great. Mm. The corrupt trader will not be given anything. They could suck my ass and kick rocks. Um, I could convince them that all is going to be well. I don't. I could take his cash, but it's fine. No, we need the stability. Like I always say, take the stability if you can. Just fucking do it. Trust me, it's worth it. Let these fucks auto-trade for themselves. There we go. Just should have just waited a month. Yeah. It's alright. It'll, it'll, um, it'll go back. I have faith in it. Once I can pass this law... Or once they try to push forward this law, it'll it'll all work out. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was very close. Yeah, this shit's just changing because people are disloyal all the time and doing shit and things and stuff. A sponsor games don't need to do that. Let's see. This one really wants us to build a great temple, but I don't think we have those unlocked yet. I've had this fucking spot open this entire time. Okay, so I can build a great temple. Let's build a great temple. Wait, can I not build it here? Why? Aqueduct. Don't need that. Get out of here. Great temple. Perfect. That'll actually get us a bunch of support from these guys. That'll get us 10 approval. 
All right, Katie. I most definitely will. Thank you for the heads up. All right. Um, let's see. I want to pass this law, but I'm pretty sure if I wait long enough, they'll come to me and say, hey, pass this law. Come on. Because, look, the agenda for this party who's in charge right now is to pass a law. And they want me to pass spread tenity worship. The only reason I can't implement it is because I don't have the 35 political influence to uh, put it forward. So that's just something that we're going to have to deal with. You. Who the fuck are you? No. Fuck off. Absolutely not. Alright, you. You're going to have to be destroyed here very soon. Um... I should... Damn. I would start working on, uh, what's it called? Um... Trying to, uh... Formulate a... A, uh... Why the fuck am I drawing a blank? Uh, fabricate a claim on them. But it's fine. I don't have the political influence for that. I have the money to fucking make people happy. But that's about it. Yeah, no, we don't care about that. Um, any of these fucks over here? Let me see. How many tributaries do I have left? You are a tribal vassal. You are a feudatory. Where are you? Right, so you're one that I was just uh, looking at. Tribal vassal. You're that dude there. And then you. Where are you? You're way down here. Damn. You're way out of there, dude. I don't know if I'm going to really focus on you just yet. Let's see. Rubrincia? Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Hey, Rome. Um. You suck, and I hate you. I could have allied them, but I really don't care. Would be nice if, like, insulting people, like, made my Senate happier, especially if they hated the peeps. Let's give you free hands and not fucking deal with it. And just, uh... Increase the wages, please. Alright, so... Remember the tax law that we... Uh, tax offices? Yeah. Build a few more. Yep, there we go. Spend all of our money. Because you guys know how it goes. If you want to engage that snowball and get it going, get it going, you gotta spend money. Bam, we got some stability out of that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite unfortunate. We were so close, and now we're so far away. Which, when that temple is done, we should be good here, though. Yeah. We should be good, and I'm waiting for the Democrats to demand that law change. But then again, I could just fucking change it right now. There we go. And it fucking went down! Of course it did. Of fucking course it went down. That makes perfect fucking sense. I clicked the one you wanted. Spread tenant worship law. I just fucking passed it. Are you fucking stupid? Yeah, traditionalists got mad. That's for sure. They got mad. But they, they'll be fine once I build this great temple in the wrong territory. Alright. This is where you want the great temple. Alright, I built it in the wrong territory. Alright, that's fine. So, um... Let's see. Get some money back. Here. Let's see. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to wait. Who becomes happier or mad? Right. Yeah, it, it's it's a balancing act. It all it's all a balancing act. Mm. 
Let's see. Let's come over here. See what else we can get. Hmm. Fruits. Most definitely. Thank you. Loyalty of characters. Most definitely helps. Okay. Come over here and do this, actually. As much as I hate hurting our, our science game, it's fine. Yeah. This is proving a lot tougher than it's supposed to be. Which is really, really dumb. Has not been recently pushed as part of uh, another party's agenda. You don't say. Yeah. So. Just getting the traditionalists happy is going to be a bitch and a half. But it's fine. Yeah, local population growth. Yeah, we don't want to deal with uh, kicking out the pirates because the pirates are honestly very beneficial for us. Uh, those guys are about to revolt. It's not my problem. Well, it's going to be my problem eventually. And I'm so sorry, Sparta, for not coming to help you, my guy. I could just abandon that mission. You're most definitely right, but that those modifiers are great. It's not it's not like um that the, that modifier is fine. This is the modifier I want. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. People are asking for all kinds of military access even they're nowhere near me. Rome, I could definitely declare war on you just to fuck you over. And honestly, I probably should. But who would I have to deal with? Rome doesn't look like you have any allies. They have a lot of troops, though. That's the only thing. Declaring war on Rome, you better be fucking ready. You better have all your troops ready to go. I really wish you would upgrade from a tribal vassal. You as well. That way I could annex you guys. But hey, what do I know? Look at Garamantia. Garamantia is getting big. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely going to complete it. It's just going to take time. That's all it's going to do. It's just, just going to take time. Let's see. I'd like to build a foundry somewhere. But for now, we got to continue trying to get that manpower up. Yeah. Let's build it where we can. Because if we could get more and more manpower, it's great. It's great for us because then, only then, hey, this was 11 just a moment ago. Oh, well. All right, there we go. We got, come on, come on. I need to bestow a few more. But he's about to... Son of a bitch! Come on! It just... It's going down. Good God, dude. This is... This is proving a lot more difficult than expected. But then look at my stability, dude. What the... Alright, dude. I don't know what's going on anymore. Apparently, I don't know how to play this game. And playing as a Republic is just fucking stupid. Definitely going for the population growth. What are you talking about? Absolutely. Someone just got murdered. Um, we sort of know who did it, but we really don't know who did it. So we can't really do anything about it. Let's see. You could go there. That's fine. We want someone better here, yeah? If we could get them. Yeah, if you could get better peeps to go places, just fucking do it. Let's see if you could put those peeps that you just moved somewhere else. Like, we could put you there. Yellow's already got a job. Purple, you don't need that job anymore, right? You'd be happy if I moved you somewhere else, yeah? 
put you there, yellow. So all the only person that needs a job is green. Let's see. All right. All right, so, Fazan, down here. Sorry, dude, but I gotta sack you, man. We gotta put a green dude there. Yep, there we go. No longer are we dealing with uh, scorned families. And that dude is no longer disloyal. Let's see. Stab stabbing a piggy. Damn, I really can't. Woo! All right, this is a slog, man, but it's quite all right. Um, uh, no holy sight, huh? I think this is already a holy sight. Yeah. The people demand it. Yeah, see, look, it's already there. <laughs> the game is glitching out, dude. Look at this. It's already there, dude. Already there. So, I, I, I honestly don't know what's wrong. Look, there, now we got the 60, but we don't have the stability, which fucking sucks. Oh, well. I guess we could just sit here and uh, watch it go down or something, I guess. Why is it going down? Aggressive expansion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be an issue now, wouldn't it? We don't really care about slave happiness, do we? I mean, it makes us more money, that's for sure. Mm. We might as well. Fuck it. Gotta keep the slaves happy. Because you know, if the slaves revolt, then you're dealing with the whole Spartacus situation. Do we really want to deal with a Spartacus situation? Not really. It's something the Romans the Romans could handle during the actual times of the Romans. And look, just like that. Wait, who the fuck are you? Oh, Macedonia. You're dealing with a massive revolt, and apparently I'm at war now. Ah. Massalia is uh, rebelling against us. These guys, I think it is. Yeah, they're, um, they're being, um, troublemakers, and I don't appreciate them being troublemakers. Let's see, I don't want to raise, like, too big a troop. Yeah, so you're good. Alright, come over here, get rid of these barbarians, at least, and then we'll hop on over there. Can't get military access from those derps. Ah, you're over here. I wonder how you spawned on my capital. I must not have been paying attention. Which is normal. You know, I sometimes don't pay attention. Rumors of barbarians, huh? I just lose five stability for no damn good reason. Conversion. Demand con uh, uh, dominant religion of at least eight owned territories in the provident provinces of uh, Tritonia or Canaanite. You don't say. All right, so let's see. Tritonia, Tritonia. Uh, oh, Tritonia, down here. All right, so all these territories down here need to follow my uh, my religion. Yeah, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, so we need to convert them down here. I don't really think there's a way to do that just yet. Um, do that guy. So what we could do is we already have it on uh, religious conversion. So we just gotta wait for the pops to convert themselves. Yeah, once they convert over, they should be fine. Gotta stick with the aggressive expansion, decay, and uh, monthly tyranny change. We're under 40 tyranny now, which is glorious. We're looking great. 
We're looking absolutely great. We're below 50 aggressive expansion as well, which is also very great. There you go. We're going to try and hoard up some of our political influence. Let me guess. You're going to win a 28 percenter right before I get there. Of fucking course. <laughs> of course. But of course. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Don't it, game? Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Yeah, see, Aboba, you already know, dude. You already fucking know. Right before I get there, I fucking knew it. I, I could call this every time, and if I called it correctly every time, I'd be a very rich man. Very rich man. So you know what we're going to do? All 21,000. Come over here and destroy them. Destroy these fucks. I'm tired of them. Stack wipe them. Hmm. Let's see, we want the four stack to come on with these guys real quick like. Bring you over here. And then we'll plop them down right on top of their territory. That way we can go ahead. Hey, what do you know? Are you already going that way? Alright, let's bring them up here. Uh, Malasita has uh, declared as well. Fucking ungrateful bastards. Alright, we dealt with this last time. It's perfectly fine, chat. Remember? Let me guess. Oh, you're trying to expand yourself? Or are you in a defensive war? Alright, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. It looks like they may or... They may be fighting a defensive war. These fucks here are trying to expand. Yeah. We should probably get up there. So we can take some land for ourselves. Because that's what we want. We want to expand into Sardinia as well. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to drop down my 21 stack. And then uh, go fuck them up. Yeah, relocate his ass. He's being a bitch. Alright, so we'll come over here. You, are you at war with us as well? You are. Sweet. More land for us. Fucking perfect. Alright, then you will split you in half as well. Send you over to that port. Okay. going on here they're fighting barbarians let the looting be gentle please you get over here now they've got a lot of forts in this territory a lot of forts would be great if you guys had boats and would like fucking do your own job but i guess not I don't know what they're doing over there. Yeah, they're the ones we're fighting, so it's fine. They're the ones who rebelled and want to be all uppity and stuff, but you know how that goes. We just got to go over there, squash it real quick, and then uh, we'll be on our merry way, yeah? That's all we need to do. Let's see. Peace imminent. Well, you can suck my ass. Not my fault. Snoozing Yuki! Hey, you're good, my guy. You're coming in right towards the end. We're actually about to raid out soon, so don't go anywhere, peeps. We will be raiding out to an absolute legend. Fort maintenance, fleet maintenance is fine. You can't stop watching. Aboba, isn't it like like midnight for you? I don't remember exactly where you're from. Why are you taking such Alright, whatever. 
These guys are taking fucking massive amounts of attrition. Who am I going to raid? That's a very good question. I always prefer to raid out to non-affiliates first. If I can find one. Which, we got plenty of non-affiliates in the, uh, the family discord. So, finding one's not going to be a problem. It's just finding one online is going to be the issue. Which, there's probably going to be one. I'm probably going to save it right now. And, um, go for next time. Alright, so that siege is done. And we can't piece them out because they're junior partners. Right. Alright, so... We made some decent progress, a different kind of progress from last time. We don't own that much land in Italy. Rome isn't as big, but they're expanding differently than they did last time. And we've already annexed all those peeps that we wanted to annex before, which is great. Um, Kaz is doing his family member of the day stream tonight. Okay. Yeah, I finally got my, uh, my Senate approval up, right? All right. Let's see. I did... Uh, I did raid Kaz yesterday, Katie. I can always raid them again. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. I got nothing against raiding Kaz. I absolutely love raiding Kaz. He's got fucking banger content. Alright, so let's see. Let's go ahead and find ourselves someone to raid, yeah? Um, manually after that's done. Alright. Okay, so you're saying I should raid Kaz? I most definitely will. All right, let's see. Who do we got here? All right. Uh, not affiliate live. Let's see. Uh, the Mrs. Fantastic. Medium Motion. I've rated Medium Motion before. Call Me Wist. I think I rated him the other day. OG Lucha. Hmm. Let's see. I'm feeling... Haven't seen the uh, that Mrs. Fantastic before, so let's uh let's go ahead and rate her, yeah. Copy and paste this real quick so I can get it right. All right, guys. So that has been another glorious installment of Imperator Rome here at the Grove. So I hope you guys have had one hell of a time. We are going to raid this glorious not affiliate. Um, I don't believe I have actually met them personally yet, so it's always, um, unpin after stream. Yeah, 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 so I don't, fuck, un unpin it, I'm trying to see the raid now thing. Alright, so, let's go show this non-affiliate all the love you guys just showed me. Uh, remember, here at the family, we don't have non-affiliates, because they make affiliates so damn fast that we don't even see them being non-affiliates, alright? That's what we do here. Everyone's going up with everyone. We're all in this together. But yes, with that being said, thank you guys so much for coming. If you haven't already joined Grove Street Discord, go ahead and do that. It's the best way to keep in contact with me and the content that I put out. Uh, also a good place where I like to organize possible multiplayer games, stuff like that. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube, I put up banger content all the time. All my past streams are going up there with the exception of some Hoi 4 campaigns and stuff like that. So if you're interested in some of my past content, go check out my YouTube. Links in my channel do work. Also, follow me on Twitter for other real-life updates. Uh, I don't really use it that much, but I will be uh, posting up pictures there of real-life events that take place uh, whenever the family and I go out and do stuff and have a good time. But with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for coming. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.